Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines or open doors thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. They competed like this on adventure after adventure. On one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long-lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. The two of them semi-retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. One day, Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it, and poof, the word would come to life. Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled little brats. So, they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Maxwell made something to give him, but he played a nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. As he cast some sort of magic, he called us spoiled little kids, and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man, and said we probably deserved what we got. For us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, that's it. I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Hello, everybody. KMC Gamer here. And after that very long intro, um, we're playing Scribblenauts. Uh, unlimited for PC and this is gonna be more of a, a laid-back sort of thing just wanted to show you this brand new game that just came out and it's a lot of fun I hope you guys aren't turned off by uh, the kid style format that they've given you in the intro but this game can be a lot of fun so these are it's gonna teach you the basics and I've already played through the basics so you guys are just seeing some recap of what I've already done uh, we have to turn the runt of the litter into an award-winning pig. So, it asks for us to scrub him up. Now, we, just like in the intro, it told you that we have a notebook that if we write in anything that we can imagine, we can help people do good deeds. So, if we say we need to clean the pig, so let's get some, I don't know, like a sponge maybe? And we give Maxwell the sponge, and then we can clean up this pig and help him win the contest. So this is the progress bar. We can remove items from Maxwell and delete them also. And it says the pig looks great. You can use an adjective to increase the size. Adjectives are a lot of fun. <laughs> you can you can type in anything. So like I want him to be I don't know, gigantic. I type in gigantic, I can make him rainbow if I want to. Oh, it won't let me right now, but you can. You can make them rainbow and stuff like that. You can add colors to everybody. It's so much fun. What does it want now? 
I need, and, and at the bottom it'll say like, I need, or like the hint, it'll say I need wings large enough to help me fly, so he's going to need um, wings, actually he's going to need gigantic wings to pick up his gigantic body. So gigantic wings, there it is. And it also gives you a backpack. I don't use the backpack, but I mean, all the backpack does is it saves all of your items that you've previously put into the backpack so you could just keep on using them over and over again. So, I guess it's good if you need to like duplicate items and stuff. And this is funny. If you don't get it, it's if pigs could fly. And he gets the award because he wins, obviously. And that pig loses, and I, th I think that's a guinea pig. I have no idea. But our pig won, and because he won, and he's all happy and stuff, we get a star right for it. So, that's the whole premise of the game. That's how you play. It gets so much fun, and the challenges get harder. So, you know, that's just not, that's only 1% of what you can do in this game. Earn shards by helping people. 10 shards will form a star right. Okay, so what you do is you use star right vision, and the people that are yellow need help, so obviously this guy. Help the sprout grow. Okay. Well, what can we use to help the sprout grow? Well, we can water it. So let's let's get a watering jug or a watering can, perhaps like this. A watering can, and then we can water the plant and hope it grows. <laughs> oh my God! It just chased it away. What did he do? What? The plant scared away the other shard opportunity. Reset the level to return all objects to their original state. That happens sometimes. So, um, if you do something wrong, or like you move too many objects, um, the, the opportunity to get a star right disappears. Um, this just pretty much says you can't type any bad words or, you know, specific things into the, the notepad. Now, here's a little girl, and she needs uh, her kitty stuck at the top of the tree. Now, we could take the easy route and get a ladder and have Maxwell climb up the tree and get the cat. Or we can do something a little different. We can get a fire truck. Grab this fire truck and place it here. Maxwell, get out of the fucking truck. Okay. And then we get a fireman. Oops, I meant fireman. Put him in there. And <laughs> he'll chop down the tree for this little girl. And there, that's the star right that I get. Or the, the shard. So. That was the basics. And then it, it uses like a Mario level system where you can just keep on going through different levels and different areas. Click Maxwell and select pick avatar to play as the unlocked brother. So you can play as different people. Sure. So I could be this Edwin person, or I could be Maxwell. But I'd rather be Maxwell. I like Maxwell a whole lot more. So like, let's see. Did I get everything here? Yes, I did. Okay, so I got one out of one star, star rights, and two shards out of two. What you can do is you can add adjectives to Maxwell. So if I think he's moving a little slow, I can make him fast. Now he runs significantly faster. And this bus stop will take us right to Capital City. And that is all that I've played through. So this is all brand new to me. I have no idea what the hell is going on. And it's still going to remain chill. Because I'm tired as balls. And there's a lot of people that we need to help. I think this running fast might be obnoxious. But whatever. I want someone to entertain me. Okay. Well, what can we entertain this guy with? Um, a ball maybe? Oh wait, no, he wanted somebody. How about, how about a clown? How about a clown? Oh, is he scared of clowns? Oh, nope, he's happy. See? And he runs away from all this stuff. Oh no, he's still right here. Can I pick him up? No, I can't. 
Let me just delete this adjective. That's going to get annoying. Okay. What else? What is this? I'm parked illegally. Okay, well, we need to move this truck away. It's not in the right position. Let us get um, a tow truck. A tow truck will do the trick. Use this to attach multiple objects together. Yes, sir. Grab the... Come on. Ah! I gotta pull this. Ah! Pull this on there. And pull it out of there. Ah! Good. Oh, wow. Look at that. What is that? What did he just throw? What is this? A notepad. Huh. I don't know why he threw that. How do I get out of this thing? Dismount. And we'll just throw it out just because. Let's see. Add an adjective. Okay, so we, we can make, like, people really... I don't know, red. See, now he's a red officer. It's so cool. <gasps> is this another Maxwell? Who is this guy? Place someone into the phone booth to make a sidekick for me. Okay. Um, a janitor. Janitor? Is that how you spell it? Janitor? <gasps> Go get him! Get him! He's running away. Can I spawn myself a gun? Gun! Double click your target to shoot or throw things. Okay. Mm. Ah, attack! Get him! Oh, I... Yeah, I hit the good guy. That was an accident. Whoops. Let's remove this, because... We don't want to get in trouble. What else? Oh. Is this graffiti? Looks like noodles. <laughs> or some kind of, like, food. I have no idea what that is. So unsightly. Okay, so... Let's get rid of it, I guess. I don't know. Um, soap should do it. Let's see. Clean. Yay, it's gone. And magically shit out birds. Okay. Well, that's good. Create a new fountain for the city. Place an object in the water. Then flip the switch. Anything? It's not being too specific. Specific. The specific. Uh, fountain? <laughs> Maybe I could spawn a fountain in the fountain? Oh, okay. Will this interact? Oh, there we go. That works. Okay. Uh, what does this guy want? Play classic carnival games. Okay. So this is a full mission, I'm assuming. This has more than one part. The carnival is in town. Throw something to knock over the bottles, but don't cross the barrier. I'm a freaking clown. Look at me. Oh god, I almost crossed that. Hmm. Um, we could throw a, a ball at the... at this. Wait. How do I... Oh god, do not cross. Throw. See? Whee! That was too easy. What does this guy want? Throw something to pop the balloons. Hmm. What can we do creative? What about what about blow darts? Blow dart? Blow dart. Blow boy dart? No. How about the missile? Miss missile. No. M I S S L E. I L E. Launcher. Missile launcher. Yeah, missile launcher. Attack. Oh, I got them all. Throw something to hit the dunk tank without crossing the barrier. Okay. Um. Hmm. What can we throw? Let's throw. Let's throw. Let's throw a meatball. <laughs> oh, it's a it's a meatball. Throw it. <gasps> I'm surprised that worked. All right, mine. That's good. Okay. Continue. 